this video, we will use Redux to many changing our app theme. Welcome developers, this is Mustafa Rumi from CodeReview.io. So state management is the biggest problem in developing front-end apps. And that comes from uh, the variety and the complexity that we have. Between all of them, today we are talking about the Redux. If you are come from JavaScript world, you know what I'm talking about here. Otherwise, I'm going to give a simple introduction about Redux. So as we can see here in the diagram that uh, how can uh, the Redux works. So here we can see that the UI, so it's starting from the UI. So any button, any uh, uh, click in the UI, uh, that will be an action. That action, it will be, uh, it's called the action creator. Action creator will send it to will send to the reducer, and then from the reducer we try to handle the data, convert the data, and then pass it to the, our state. And in the state here, if uh, because this is a constant, if the state will uh, change, then uh, the state will be passed to our UI to change all the related component, and that via the container, and the container will hold all the related uh, widgets or components. Uh, as a JavaScript uh, developer, uh, then uh, this will change everything inside uh, and of any widget that's related to the state. So we start first by installing Flutter Redux and Redux packages. In the main Dart file, we uh, remove everything and we start a new app widget. This app widget will take two parameters with the app key and the store. The app key is here is optional. And the store is type of the store that comes up from Redux with a uh, type app state. This app state will create uh, we will create it later on. So this one is a function it will take an app reducer and initial state and as the uh, defined in the documentation of Redux. And then the, the initial state it will be the type of app reducer and that will be uh, we would send the active theme as the uh, as the initial theme. And here we send themes with the default theme. Now the, these themes also uh, we will create this class later on. Now we create app state a class. We start importing the material app with the mutability, and then we create our class with the parameter of the active theme, and that will be type of theme data. And we pass this to the constructor, and then we implement the uh, operator double equal and also the two string method, and that just to make sure that the uh, the store will rebuild the uh, the widgets only if the uh, view model and the widgets tree changes. Now we will start to make our uh, app widget, and that will be extended from stateless widgets, and it will take two instance with the store uh, type of app state uh, store, and then also the key, and then we pass these uh, instances to the uh, to the constructor and then we implement our build widget and then uh, in the build we try uh, first to wrap uh, our app with the store provider that comes from the redux package and then we uh, do the child and uh, with, with the theme container this theme container will be uh, will be created later the builder, uh, the theme container will take the builder method and that will be with the context and theme data with the active theme. And then we check if the material app with the active theme, if there is a, a value, uh, we pass it. Otherwise, uh, if there is no value, or oh, it's the same, I mean, it just we put a condition for the active theme. And then uh, we make our routes as a normal in every material app. And with, uh, things we need, we need to mention that the store provider it takes uh, the store as a as a parameter, uh, as an argument, the first argument, and that should be required. Now we will create our home screen. So we start by creating our widget, which we call the home screen, that will extend the stateless widget, and we create our items that will be rendered inside the build widget. And then uh, this build method it will just return the scaffold and then we try to put the upper. So here we use the items here and then uh, as a list of view builder and that will render all the items. The only thing uh, to mention here that uh, this home screen widget should always take the colors uh, that will come so from the context or the background from the context. Otherwise the theme will not be changed. 
Now moving to another screen, which is the setting screen, and also we use the stateless widget here and with the build. Here we could use the store connector that comes from the Redux. We will pass the up state and the view model. The view model will take two required parameters uh, arguments that will be the converter and the builder. The converter is the ability to convert the uh, our state before printed to the model to pass it to the builder. And then from the builder, the second argument uh, will be the view model self. So the, uh, here we use the view model and then get the value from the view model. And we can pass and make uh, the view model uh, uh, any par uh, value or class. In this case, I'm using the um, uh, private class and you will see this shortly. And uh, down you will see that uh, I'm creating the list builder here and then we use the same with the background and then I get the themes uh, from uh, theme types and that will be an enum that will be also created later on. Try to build our list items and the list items will be the colors that or the themes that will be uh, that will be using to change our themes. Then we create our class, the private class of view model that with the two instances on theme changed and active theme that type of theme data and this will be required in the constructor and then we implement our view model from the store the function that we need to use it in the set converter and also we uh, implement the distinct uh, property and that will make sure that uh, the, uh, for optimization performance as you can see and that it make sure that the store will not be built until uh, the view model changes and uh, that's why we implemented the operator double equal and the hash code and this is will be uh, this has been required by the uh, redux team in order to make the distinct working now we start we implement the app producer so we start uh, first by uh, importing our uh, files and then we create a, a method with our producer that return the app state and this will take the state and action as a parameters and return the app state. And the app state has one in instance and that's the active theme for now. And then uh, we just pass the theme reducer. The theme reducer is a function we will create it later by passing the, uh, the state with the active theme. And then we pass the same action that will be passed uh, to, the, uh, to the class. Now we start with by creating our theme reducer. First we start by importing all the uh, related files and then we create our uh, action theme. The action theme it will be type of theme types with an instance update theme and then we make the constructor with this update theme. The updated theme should be uh, uh, should be in the constructor not an optional parameter should be a, a normal parameter otherwise it's not gonna work. And then we move to make now a two string and that's just to make sure that uh, uh, for you maybe to print it or maybe to debug it. Then we start to creating uh, our theme reducer that will be final and then we use the compiler reducer that comes from the Redux and with the type of theme data because this is the, uh, the type that re we should return. Let's take an array of typed reducer that's also from Redux and with the type of the theme data and then change theme action and that will be passed to the our change theme the change theme met, uh, method is type of the theme data because that's what we defined in the first uh, parameter uh, in the first uh, yeah, parameter of the type uh, typed reducer and in this uh, uh, function or action this uh, will take the theme data as a theme first uh, uh, par uh, parameter and the second one is the type action and here we use the themes uh, good theme and with the updated theme and this will th themes is just uh, in a class with all the static members and then we can just switch between all the themes now moving to start creating our theme and here we put the, some enums that we will uh, we have using uh, we have used it and also the class themes and that it has some static members where it, uh, where it returns the theme data or sometimes is the theme uh, the themes names and that's uh, what we used for the list item to print our uh, type of uh, uh, our themes names in the settings screen and then we created our themes and that will be static and uh, 
we could use actually this theme to be a private also because it's not necessary to be outside of this file. Now we use uh, our theme co uh, container. So we start first by creating the theme container and that will be extended by stateless widget. And then we use the builder. The builder it should be type of view model builder with the theme data. And then we created our constructor that should uh, take as a require the builder. And then we pass the store container connector and that will be with the app state and the theme data and then we use the converter to pass the theme the active theme to the uh, uh, to the widget to the child widget and then we use the builder uh, as the instance above so uh, this is if you are from uh, comes from the react world this is kind of like the higher order component where you wrap uh, your component uh, with the with the redux store and then you pass it to the children I think that's it uh, guys for this video, uh, please consider to subscribe and to share and to hit the like button if you want to more and motivate me to do uh, more videos about other and other technologies. Thank you for watching and see you next time.